Well, would you looky here? We have a new release of Open RA. Uh, I can't begin to tell you how much I love Open RA. Um, it's probably my favorite open source game, and it's one of my favorite video games. Period. Um, I grew up playing Command and Conquer. Uh, Red Alert is is a great, great game. I have a boxed copy. Um, I actually have the original uh, Command and Conquer in a boxed copy as well. I am a huge fan of Command and Conquer. I think it's one of the best games ever made. Period. And Open RA is an improvement upon the classic Westwood formula. Uh, so I'm very, very happy to see <laughs> a new Open RA release. It's been quite a while, if, if I'm not mistaken here. Let's take a look. When was the last uh, release here? See, that's an app image. We're gonna we're gonna download the app image. We're gonna try it out for a little bit. Um, the release archive here. The last release was last month. Okay, it was a play test. Play test. Play test. Play test. Release. February was the last release. That is a rather. Uh, long time <laughs> yeah i'm pretty stoked about this let's take a look at what they have going on here uh in in this latest release so one of the major new features that they have is smooth zooming smooth zooming is something that uh, uh they didn't think that they'd be able to do I'm, I'm pretty sure they said they had technical limitations that they thought they would never be able to overcome but because they have moved to an OpenGL rendering backend um a significant time ago they are now able to uh, enable smooth zooming which is cool there are multiple steps at which you can actually zoom in and out uh, it's currently bound to the mouse wheel and you can also use the uh, the bracket keys and that's really awesome uh, because if you've ever played uh open ra you'll know that uh people like the, the, the units look like tiny little ants and uh so they had a somewhat of a solution with pixel doubling which you could hit like i think it was the period key and it would uh zoom in so that everything was twice as large or it might have been like four times as large or something like that but uh this allows zooming uh smoothly uh, non-integer scaling i believe uh that's really awesome um they've also been able to implement high dpi support for uh for high resolution screens because the game didn't look super great or it was almost unusably small on uh high dpi screens these are all just great user interface quality of life upgrades they also have a new introduction screen so that when you first launch open ra you can uh have a group of preset settings and you can toggle between them really simply. Uh, they said in the in the release video, the highlight video, that uh, a lot of new players were overwhelmed by the amount of choices that they had when they were playing the game or when they first got into it. And so what they wanted to do here was just to simplify the initial setup process so that if you're familiar with like the old style of uh, Command and Conquer controls, you could enable that really quickly. If you're familiar with more recent style uh, RTS and even MOBA controls, you can go with those. Uh, that's really awesome, and it's great that they were thinking about that. They now have a, a new OpenGL rendering backend, so they're using OpenGL 3.2 or ES3. This means that they're moving away from OpenGL 2 compatibility, but they still have legacy OpenGL supports uh, in the event that you want to use, uh, like Discord streaming, I think is what they were talking about. Um, but they're gonna shake out all the bugs uh, with OpenGL 3.2, get that ready to go. And they're even talking about uh, Vulcan and metal support, but uh, who needs metal? So you can now queue rally points, which is super exciting because before rally points were literally just, here's uh, where I want you to end up when you're built. And then people would go there, but now you can actually uh, have multiple waypoints, it seems, which is exciting. So units are now able to move uh, multiple units at a time through a minefield. 
which is the intended uh, result, and th- they'll end up blowing up. Um, units with uh, mine, the mine layers are actually able to uh, uh, mine an entire field automatically. You just like specify where you want the mines to be laid, and then they'll go about their business and lay the mines. And they can't be blown up by uh, mine damage, which is awesome. Um, because you, you would have a unit that would just shoot a mine and then the whole field would go up and you'd lose your mine layer. They've also said that uh, they are working tirelessly on Tiberian Sun as a mod for the game. And uh, let me tell you right now, Tiberian Sun is my favorite Command & Conquer game. Uh, I love Tiberian Sun. Now, I like Red Alert 2 as well, but I think for me personally, the aesthetic of Tiberian Sun is the best out of all Command & Conquer games. I love Tiberian Sun. I think it is fabulous. Uh, so the fact that uh, the Tiberian Sun mod is still being worked on all of these years later makes me very, very happy boy. Very happy boy. So let's go ahead and actually launch the game here. So let's go ahead and launch the game. We're gonna go to properties and add the executable permission and then we're just gonna double click on the boy. All right. Quick install, 12 megabytes, 12 megabytes, boom. Ooh, oh, I do dig that. Oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, here we go. So this is the initial setup right here. Uh, let's change my name to Zondiac. Uh, preferred color. I am, I like yellow. Yellow is like my preferred color, if I'm being honest. Uh, modern control scheme, select units with the left mouse button, command units using the right mouse button, place structures using the left mouse button, or classic. Uh, everything's with the left mouse button. Oh, there's more over here too. Zoom, uh, pan the battlefield using the right mouse button, using the middle mouse button. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. Edge scrolling, no, we don't need no edge scrolling. We don't need no edge scrolling. Edge scrolling is lame. I hate edge scrolling. Battlefield camera, medium, close or far. Increase cursor size. Ooh, look at that. That's a Dublin. That's a Dublin right there. All right, UI size, I think that's fine. Yeah, whatever. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's let's just play uh, a quick... I don't want to play multiplayer. I'm just going to play a single-player skirmish. We're going to play against a Rush AI. I want to be... Germany. I can't do voices. <laughs> don't do voices, man. <laughs> um, <coughs> I'm going to go against Russia. No, I'm going to be Russia. X Lake. Wow. Been a while since I've uh, played this, honestly. You know what? That actually looks cool. I'll be there, and they can be over there. Boom. Battle control initialized. Battle control initialized. Building. Oh, I didn't start the game with units. Ding dang it. Construction complete. See, this game is just awesome. I'm gonna um, turn off the audio tick though. I hate the cash tick. Is there no music though? No music installed. Well, that's okay. We don't need music anyway. Acknowledged. 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 Of course. <laughs> I love Command and Conquer, dude. Uh, all right, let's try some of these new features out. So you can zoom in, which is just fantastic. So this doesn't feel like this is the normal size. Let's go here. I'm confused. I 
feel like uh, these should be smaller because these guys are like these guys are like construction should be half the size, shouldn't they? Construction options. Reporting course. Of course. Yes, sir. Very well. All right, we need to build some some training infantry boys. Unit and some ready soldiers. Unit ready. And we also need Unit another ready. ore refinery. All right, we need we need all the Charlie cash that power. we can get. Building. And then we want a war factory after that. See, I grew up Hello, playing Command and Conquer. This is one of the greatest games of my childhood. I played this ready. game all Unit the ready. time. Uh, so Unit my ready. best friend growing Unit up, ready. Carl, he's still my best friend. Uh, him and I played this game all the time. We would, um, we would Unit like ready. do the. Uh, what did they call that when when you would like was it IPX or something? And you'd have like your friend dial you in like dial your phone number and then you'd have the game running and then when the phone would ring you would click answer in the game and then you would have a direct peer-to-peer -peer over the phone connection with your friend's computer and you would play command and conquer that way and carl and i did that all the time there was one time where we were playing uh, red alert and uh yeah, my mom woke like my mom was like, "Oh, uh, I gotta like get on. I gotta call like my church friend or whatever." And we were in the middle of playing the game, and uh, she picked up the phone, and the game just froze, and I, and I could hear the modem. I'm, I'm pretty sure I could hear the modem because I heard my mom's voice inside the computer, and it was like, "Get off the game. Pause the game. Let me call my friend." <laughs> Yeah, it was great. I, I miss I miss those times. Those were good times, you know. What did I just do? APC and mobile flag. All right. Let's take these guys out. Come on, get up there. Attack. I, f I keep forgetting that you can zoom in and out here. Unit ready. All right, we need to we need to build up a, a military ready. presence on this battlefield here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have another one of these. We're gonna re-enable that, and uh, I think we need a couple SAM sites. Yeah. Construction complete. Oh no. Lost. Unit lost. Unit lost. Unit lost. Unit lost. Unit lost. Unit lost. Dang, dude. That was that was massive casualties. <laughs> Holy cow. Alright, what are we at? Where we got some money. So let's start to uh, let's start building a couple uh Build some mammoth tanks. Let's build some mobile flak, some heavy, heavy, heavy tanks, uh, and then we're gonna go here and we're gonna build a couple, uh, a whole bunch of boys. A couple shock troopers. Why not? We're gonna build just a whole bunch of guys, and we're gonna send these guys out. Hey, go take these boys out. Try some mine layers because these boys keep coming through here. It's really kind of pissing me off. Ready. 
ready. Unit ready. See, these guys are laying mines here. Unit ready. <clears throat> Unit ready. So I only have a couple of those guys. Ready. But I think I'm going to continue just... Do, 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 do. Units ready. Spy plane ready. Spy plane ready. ready. Let's, let's spy target. right here. Unit ready. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Let's, uh, let's explore this map here. Fuck airplane. I usually disable the uh, fog of war. To the, or not fog of war, but the, the shroud. I bet you folks don't have one of these. Yeah, go get him, boy. Destroy that silo. Oh. Well, I found their stuff. A bomb launch? They just they launched an A bomb at me? Oh man. My repair ready. Wow, dude. Holy cow. Well, we need a service depot. What else do we need? We need a couple Tesla coils here. Dude, I am not prepared to be under attack again. Dang, dude. Oh, man. This is, a, this is stressing me in a little bit. Alright, you know what? These guys are gonna get their butt handed to them here. Well, dang it. Do I have low power? Oh, my radar dome is gone. Alright, you know what? Eat it, Rosef. Unit ready. Oh, well, they said spy plane. I can select target. Oh, spy right here. Unit ready. What do we got? What do we got? Is this gone? Your conyard? Oh, your conyard. Gone. Busted. Destroyed. Unit ready. <laughs> Loser. Select target. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Unit ready. Oh, that makes me so happy. Unit ready. Unit ready. Alright, so here's here's the deal. Now we're gonna uh, go ahead and get our mine raiders. We're gonna move all of these guys out here. And then we're gonna um, have our mine raiders. We're gonna move them out here. Ooh! Hey! Well, my guys. Ooh, hey, ooh, wow, ooh, ooh, hey, 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 They got their harvester, dude. See, now it's just about mop-up detail here. We're just mopping up. Are you kidding me, dude? Unit ready. Unit 
I can definitely see why they added um, the way the multiple waypoints though. Oh, I love this game so much. Oh, they got another construction yard. Not for long. See, I never really understood the idea of um, construction. I mean, of uh, silos. But then I realized, like, if you don't, like, it's like your money that exists on the field, you know? That's a play open RA, my friends. Um, so probably won't have that entire thing uh, in the video, but uh, man, I dig the uh, I really dig the uh, the new uh, stuff that they've got going on here. So uh, great job, open RA team! You guys consistently deliver some amazing content, some amazing stuff. So uh, I can't wait to see more. I, I can't wait for the Tiberian Sun mod for OpenRA because, like I said, Tiberian Sun is my favorite Command & Conquer game. So yeah, great job, guys. I uh, will leave it here. Uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.